So now we are going to discuss the concept of price elasticity of supply. So let's define it first. So it is the responsive response of the seller's production or supply to the changes in the price of the good. It means it will measure how fast, uh, how fast or big the seller can change its production ability when there is a, a one person increase in the market price of the good. So higher the answer will show the ease in the production process for the case of expansion. So it means if the answer is big, it means seller can easily expand its production ability anytime. So the, 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 it will show how easy it is and if answer is small it means it is very difficult to produce. So the formula it's, it's shown here. So here Q1 is a quantity to a supply of product X before the event and Q2 is quantity supply of X after the event. P is the price of product X and P2 is price of product X after the event. Okay, so let's go towards its formula and, and, and then try to solve it. So the, uh, if for the case of supply, we already know that the number line will be always positive. The answer of the price elastic supply will always be positive and we already know why because of the law of supply. So law of supply says that whenever there is an increase in, so law of supply we already know, law of supply. We already know when there is increase in price of the product, the seller will increase the quantity to be sold. Why? Because he will get more profit. So in this case, the, when the answer of this price elasticity supply is zero, it means it is perfect. It is perfect in elastic. Means no matter how much changes in the price, uh, how much price changes, firm does not change the supply. So it's, it's a type of a business where seller is not able to increase in the quantity uh, when there is an increase in price. So the example is vegetables or fruits or crops. So let's write it up, uh, explain it here. So when the, ma the market price of uh, wheat increases, since it takes a farmer half a year to produce, wheat so so he will not be able to increase the supply immediately so it means whenever there is an increase in price if the product takes time to produce or it is very difficult to produce then the response will take time and in its elasticity will be almost near to zero okay then when the value is infinity this sign is called infinity. It means it is perfect elastic. Means whenever a single rupee price uh, change in price, it will encourage the seller to sell the product, and 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 uh, it means the seller can easily respond. So these are goods where with the product the the goods we, which have very flexible uh, production process 
such that the that they can easily expand production in response to increase in prices so example can be uh, the product which are easily expandable so the the most common example that i used to give is the news paper firm so they only have to print the newspaper so if there is an increase in price they will just uh, enter a command to a printer that print more newspaper so it's very easy to expand the newspaper production just to press uh, print command and print more papers so it's very easy to expand when there is an increase in price and the when value is one it means it is unit elastic unit elastic means it's uh, proportional so it means that increase in price and increase in quantity supplied are equal so if the value is more than one it is elastic and if value is is less than one it is in elastic so we i have labeled all the region so i will label zero i have labeled infinity i have also labeled the one and i also labeled the region between zero and one and region between one and infinity this way we can explain or interpret the number which is shown in elasticity of supply okay let's move to next slide so how what are the factors that explain the the answer of elasticity supply because it is changing so it is because the flexibility of the goods that the seller produce so if the goods are very easy to produce if it is a mechanical and if the production process is very fast like television so the elasticity supply will be very high so let's write it up here so let's let's not let's start with the graph and then we discuss so they here it is y axis and x axis we have a two we have two kinds of supply curve first is a supply curve where it is horizontal it's green horizontal curve is that there is a small increase in the price but there is a large increase in quantity and there is another supply curve which is vertical uh, almost vertical where there is a large increase in the price and small increase in the quantity so name we name it so the green one is elastic supply and the, the red one is let's select the red color red one is in elastic supply now we will use this example to to write explain these products so let's write it here so first example is the flexibility so the the if the the we we compare vegetable and television since vegetable takes will takes half year or so to produce and television are produced daily so what will happen if there is 1% increase in price of both what will happen seller of television will employ more labor to expand the production immediately but the farmer will wait for the harvest period and then then buy more seeds to produce more for higher price so it means that for a certain time period you will notice that the, the, the for the increase in price the the seller are in, increasing the, the the television sets are increasing in the market but there is no increase in the uh, vegetables why because it takes time for them to produce so second case is same thing so uh, uh, 
so more time is required for the businesses to to adopt the change so vegetable takes more time and television takes less time third case is number of substitutes if if there are more substitutes then the seller will not increase the the quantity very much because customers can easily shift to the cheaper product so that's why there there you will not notice that the seller is responding very much so here the vegetables have high substitutes and televisions have fewer substitutes so this way we can explain the concept of and the last case is the, the it is about uh, availability and types of inputs used if the inputs are easily available if inputs are easily available what will happen that the seller will shift towards the and uh, uh, shift towards the new production easily if the inputs are not easily available then what will happen that the seller will not be able to respond immediately that's that's what we have seen in the corona virus case that the world needed the ventilator machines and the uh, production equipments so the, the, the they first of all they looked for the raw materials so the countries which have the production ability they were able to expand the other countries which don't have any production ability they were not able to expand their production okay let's let's see is the last slide we'll go towards that so this way uh, this was the last slide so this way we uh, completed the concept of price elasticity of supply so uh, its its interpretation is similar to what we did in the demand we will go towards its example first and uh, let's open it up so here suppose the the p uh, p y is 3 so its interpretation is if if there is 1% increase in the price price of the product then there is 3 3% increase in the supply of that product so this way we interpret the price elasticity of supply hope hopefully you understood the topic of price elasticity of supply let's let's come to the application so we already uh, seen the application so when corona virus was uh, was expanding was spreading usa ordered its uh, factory its businesses which it was producing defense equipment to to produce the ventilators so what why it is so because they found out that the current ability to produce ventilators will be very small so they and it will be very big expensive in the market so if they want to increase the supply so they need to make sure that there are more sellers in the market so they find out that the increase the, the when that all the all the world will be demanding when whole world will be demanding ventilators we will not be able to buy it from the market as world do not have enough capacity to produce the ventilators even at higher price so usa responded by starting their own production line 
So this is the application of elasticity of supply. Hopefully this is uh, comprehensible and you understood the concept of price elasticity of supply. Uh, and please do ask if you have any queries. Thank you very much.